In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about calculation of number of ATPs produced from one glucose molecule. So, let us first look at how ATPs or energy can be generated from the glucose. So, glucose first needs to undergo glycolysis and it generates two molecules of pyruvate. So, up to this level, it is the glycolysis. This glycolysis, it occurs in the cytosol. Once pyruvates are generated, this pyruvate undergo oxidative decarboxylation to generate acetyl coenzyme A. And this oxidative decarboxylation is the link reaction as it is linking between this glycolysis and this TCA cycle. So, this is the link reaction and it occurs in the mitochondria. Once acetyl coenzyme A is formed, it undergoes TCA cycle. So, this is a TCA cycle. So, first glycolysis occurs, then link reaction and then TCA cycle. This is the highway for the energy generation from the glucose molecule. And as we can see that link reaction occurs two times and TCA cycle occurs two times for each molecule of glucose. Let us see how energy is generated from this pathway. So, first when glucose undergo glycolysis, in the first phase that is the energy investment phase, during that phase two ATPs are utilized. So, I am writing over here minus two ATPs. Now, once splitting occurs, splitting of this glucose occurs in the two part, each of this splitting part, it will give two substrate level phosphorylation. So, two ATPs are generated and one molecule of NADH is also generated. The same thing occurs with this half also. Here also two ATPs are produced and one NADH molecule is also generated. Now this during this linking reaction pyruvate gets converted to acetyl coenzyme A and during this reaction one NADH molecule is generated. Here also one molecule of NADH is generated. Now then acetyl coenzyme A undergoes TCA cycle and this TCA cycle it generates three molecule of NADH, one molecule of FADH2 and along with that there is one substrate level phosphorylation which generate one ATP. Now here there is one problem. The problem is that many author writes instead of one ATP they write in this GTP. Now according to me writing of one ATP is better than this one GTP. The reason is that that GTP ATP is generated in all the tissue, whereas GTP it is generated only in the liver and kidney. Okay, and that too in the liver and kidney also GTP is not generated all the time. GTP is generated whenever there is a requirement of gluconeogenesis in the liver and kidney. At that time only GTP is generated. So, ATP generation is the generalized phenomena, whereas GTP is the exception. It is the exceptionally occurs in the liver and kidney when they need a gluconeogenesis, right? So, as ATP generation is the generalized phenomena, I personally prefer to write ATP. Whereas this is the exception, we should not write when we are generally explaining TCA cycle, right? So, this thing you have to keep in mind because in many book it is written directly as a GTP is generated. And one more thing, this GTP can be easily converted to ATP also. So, that is why I prefer to write ATP. Okay. The same thing occurs on this TCA cycle also that we get 3 NADH molecule, 1 FADH2 molecule and 1 ATP molecule. Now, this NADH molecule and this FADH2 molecule, they have to pass through electron transport chain for the generation of ATP. So, this has to also pass through the electron transport chain. Right. Now, here there is one problem that is that NADH is generated in the cytosol. Why? Because glycolysis is the cytosolic process. This occurs in the cytosol. Whereas, electron transport chain, it occurs in the mitochondria. So, this NADH, it has to be transported inside the mitochondria. Then only it can pass through the electron transport chain and then can generate ATP. So, that transport, it requires, it utilizes one of these two shuttle mechanism. There are two shuttle mechanism available and any one of that shuttle mechanism will be utilized by this NADH to transport it inside the mitochondria. So, one shuttle mechanism is the malate aspartate shuttle and second shuttle mechanism is the glycerol phosphate shuttle system. If this malate aspartate shuttle is used, then it can generate 2.5 ATP 
for each NADH molecule. Whereas if this glycerol phosphate shuttle is used, it can generate only 1.5 ATP for each NADH molecule, right. Whereas here NADH, it is generated inside the mitochondria. Why? Because this link reaction itself is occurring in the mitochondria. So, there is no requirement of shuttle. So, here there will be 2.5 ATP for each NADH molecule. And the same thing will occur over here also because NADH it is generated in the mitochondria only. So, there is no requirement of shuttle mechanism. So, here also there will be 2.5 ATP for each NADH molecule. And for FADH2 molecule, as it bypasses the first complex of the electron transport chain, it can generate only 1.5 ATP for each FADH2 molecule, right. So, with this information, let us start counting how many ATPs can be generated by the single molecule of glucose. So, here there is minus 2 ATP, yes. Then here we can see that 2 ATPs are generated 2 times. So, we have 2 into 2 that makes total 4 ATP. Here we have 1 NADH, so which is generated 2 times. So, we have a 2 NADH molecule and for each NADH molecule, we are generating either 2.5 or 1.5. So, here we have 2 possibility, either 2 into 2.5 ATPs are generated that makes total 5 ATP or second possibility is 2 into 1.5 ATP that may give us total 3 ATPs, right. So, this completes glycolysis pathway and as we can see in the glycolysis 5 plus 4 that makes 9 minus 2. So, either 7 ATPs are generated or 4 plus 3 that makes 7 minus 2 that makes total 5 ATP. Two possibilities are there. Now, let us talk about this link reaction. Here, two NADH molecules are generated and for each NADH molecule, we can get 2.5 ATP. So, 2.5. Here, there is no chance of 1.5 ATP because shuttle mechanism is not required over here. So, we can get 5 ATPs over here. This is about the link reaction. And then, let us discuss about TCA cycle. Here, 3 NADH2 molecules are generated and that is occurring 2 times. So, we have total 6 NADH molecule. And for each NADH molecule, we are getting 2.5 ATP. So, that makes total 15 ATPs. 1 FADH2 molecule generated 2 times. So, we have a 2 FADH2 molecule and each FADH2 molecule give 1.5 ATP. So, 2 into 1.5 that makes total 3 ATPs. And here 1 ATP which is generated 2 times. So, we have 2 ATPs. So, if we do a totaling of this 15 plus 3 that makes 18 plus 2 that makes total 20 ATPs. So, these many ATPs are generated. So, let us do a final total. If we consider this possibility, then 7 plus 5 that makes 12 and 12 plus 20 that makes total 32 ATPs. And if we consider this possibility, then we have 5 plus 5, 10 plus 20 that makes total 30 ATP. So, this is the final calculation of number of ATPs which are generated from the single molecule of glucose. Now, just for the sake of completion of this uh, discussion, see there is one old information. If you are reading old books, it will tell you that for each molecule of NADH, 3 ATPs are generated. Remember, this is old information. So, for each molecule of NADH, 3 ATPs are generated and for each molecule of FADH2, 2 ATPs are generated. Now, here if this NADH, it utilizes malate aspartate shuttle, then 3 ATP will be generated, but it instead if it utilize this glycerol phosphate shuttle, there will be 2 ATP will be generated. So, as per this old information, if we try to calculate this number of ATPs generated for each molecule of glucose, we can have a new calculation that instead of 2.5, 2.5, we can consider 3. So, 3 into 2, that makes total 6 and 6 plus 4 minus 2, that makes 8 ATPs. So, here either 8 ATP can be generated or instead of 1.5, if we consider 2, then we can get 4 ATP. So, here we can get 6 ATP that is 4 plus 4, 8 minus 2, 6 ATP can be there. Here if we consider instead of 2.53, this is all the information. So, we can get 6 ATPs. Here if we consider 3 ATPs, then 6 into 3 that makes total 18 ATP. 
here instead of 1.5 if we consider 2 then we can get 4 ATPs and here this 2 will remain same. Okay. So, as per this new information in the TC in this TCA cycle we can get 18 plus 2 that makes 20 plus 4 24. So, let us do the final calculation as per all the information. So, 8 plus 6 that makes total 12 uh, sorry 14, 14 plus 24 that makes total 38 ATPs right and if we consider this 6 then 6 plus 6 12 and 12 plus 14 that makes total 36 ATP. So, according to all the information this could be the number of ATPs generated from the one molecule of glucose. Now, why I am discussing about this old information? See, if you are reading some old addition books or uh, some old videos or if you are solving some old multiple choice question or old questions, then this information will uh, come in handy and at that time you will not get confused. So, that is all about this video. If you have any query or confusion, please write it down in the comment section below. Thank you.